I'll start with Zachary Kiefer for this book, Radical Uncertainty. I'll probably give this book two f stars. I almost got a three, which is, it has an interesting premise, an interesting idea, but the book is way, way, way too long, and I said those three ways, you know, on purpose because it's way, way too long. Uh, I think it could be a fourth, if not a fifth, the length it is. Right, I think it's uh, listening, at least it's 15 hours, and I think it could be five or four. So it's just a lot of examples that some of them are not even backing his ideas. Some of them are way too long. He's going about like a lot of information, unnecessary information. I don't know why, why authors tend to do that, maybe to show that they know things, but it's really unnecessary and distracting, to be honest. That's why I go all the way to two, which is, uh, it should be a three, but again, way too long. His idea is good, but it could be a four hour book instead of 15 or whatever, how long it is. Let's see the notes. Radical uncertainty is when we're not sure when or what is going to happen. We don't have an idea, so that's what radical uncertainty is. Puzzles have answers while mysteries don't. That's the difference between puzzles to mysteries. And some things are, that's I realize that some things are a mystery and we don't know. Probabilities can be misleading in misleading into making us think we know the risk. We when we attach probabilities to things, we think we know the risk, even though it's misleading and we do not really know the risk. Unknown unknowns is when we don't know what we don't know. That's the idea of unknown unknowns. Is that we don't know even what we don't know. And there's many things that is like that. We, we think we, own, we know all the options, but there is more options. We can attach probabilities to events we're not sure of the outcome. Because we don't know what's going to happen. So we can really attach probabilities to it. Side note, there is a lot of unnecessary and unrelated information in the book. A lot of it. It could be like 70 to 80%. I felt it was unrelated and un unnecessary, really. I mean, I guess the uncertainty, unknown unknowns, attaching probabilities even though we, we shouldn't. That that's, that's the main ideas there, but way too long. He's going about things that are far-fetched or very loosely related risk might be weighed differently for different people so it's not the same for everyone every individual might have different risk weight even as humans are irrational there are there are they supposed to be they are good at problem solving under uncertainty we are irrational but Bottom line, we are good at problem solving when there is uncertainty. We find solutions. It's very low probability for a piece of paper to be folded exactly this, the way it is. The idea is that that shows the, the irony or the how probabilities could be misleading because there is a very low probability for that piece of paper to be folded the same way but it is folded the same in this particular way so again that's it for the notes it could be a good book better than it is it could be a four if it was short but it got all the way down to two uh, way too long i would not recommend thank you